Here's a quick introduction to an ongoing controversy about the operational definition of language. We'll get down to it by asking two simple questions. Where is language located? And where does language come from? Biology, genetics, psychology, neurology, artificial intelligence, anthropology, and so many other fields have contributed to this debate. Great minds have even hung their hat on one particular answer to those two questions. In the abstract, they have offered two main answers. The first is linguistic nativism, which holds that the basics of language and grammar are innate. This is the nature or the internal perspective. If things are innate, they are built into every human being at birth. It follows that for nativists, the origin of language it is rooted in the history and development of the biological organism which contains the language instinct. They point to apparent linguistic universals shared by all humans as evidence. For them, language is in the genes. The second perspective is linguistic empiricism. Empiricists think that language is entirely learned. This is the nurture or the external perspective. If language and grammar are learned, they are features of the organism's environment. Empiricists point out that we lack evidence for language-specific adaptations in human biology and that all known features of language match features of other cultural developments. For them, language is a cultural artifact. Other options abound. For instance, some cognitive psychologists think that the brain has essential equipment for making sense of grammar, against the strong empiricists' assertion, even if this equipment contains no linguistic information like grammatical categories or frameworks for pronunciation against the strong nativist assertion. These perspectives influence the way their proponents collect and evaluate linguistic data. Linguistic data are sounds and text gathered in specific languages in order to study those languages. Nativists are likely to think that since people are born with a universal grammar, we all have an intuitive grammatical sense. Speakers can judge a grammatical sentence from an ungrammatical one. For the typical nativist, you check if a sentence is grammatical by asking a native speaker. Against this, empiricists charge that actual use and not intuition determines which sentences occur and which do not in a given language. For the average empiricist, you check your sentence against a corpus containing many examples of the language you're asking about. The more frequent its appearance, the more likely the sentence. The topics in my Linguistics Lessons for Language Learners series start from less controversial claims. First, the human body makes noises through the air and marks on the page that other humans recognize as language. Second, a variety of languages have been used in a variety of ways and in a variety of societies throughout human history. We observe difference or change over time and space. Third, concrete observations of people using language ground abstractions made based on that data and not the other way around. I hope you've gained some understanding of this meta issue. It will allow you to appreciate the tension between variations and universals in any discussion about human language.